So Don, I understand there's a passive solar and then there's an active solar and we're here at the Fisher Smiths to find out just what they're both all about. Hey, hey John, great to see you. Hi. Hi, John. Hi, John. Let's go on in. Come on in. John, you've got an absolutely beautiful home here. I understand you had an awful lot to do with it. Yeah, I'm an architect, Don. I, I designed it right from the very word go. Uh, my wife and I wanted a house down here in Ashland, and friends found this lot. And they found this lot for us because it has great solar access, meaning we're open to the sun on the south. This is the south, and that is north. And the sun comes into the house in the wintertime, and in the summertime, we keep it out. And John, as the designer of this home, I recognize that you paid close attention to two types of solar, active and passive. Could you describe that? Well, the original design was all passive, and that is that these windows on the south side, which get direct sunlight, let sun in during the winter time and warm the floor. In the summertime, when the sun is high, we keep it out with the overhang so the sun never gets in the house, it never warms it. Because we want the house to be cool in the summer, warm in the winter. Then later, we added the active PV panels on the roof to generate electricity. We added those a year ago. And I understand that your thermostat is set at 64 degrees consistently in the winter time. Absolutely, we set the thermostat at 64 degrees. During the night, when the temperature drops, maybe 63, 62, in the living room, it'll kick it on and it'll run until the floor temperature gets warm enough to turn the thermostat off at 64. 